What's the weirdest thing you have ever walked in on? Came home one evening to find my roommate and his friend taking turns dramatically walking through the front door while the other blasted the Seinfeld riffs. Of all the college experiences I may have missed out on, this is the one I am most envious of. Once I walked into my 9 yo cousin's room and saw him completely covered under his blanket breathing heavily. As soon as I came in, his head came out of the blanket and he looked at me kinda ashamed. I thought he was experimenting. So BC I'm only 20 myself I said that it's no problem to discover his body and that it's completely normal. He looked at me in visible confusion and pulled out his DS under the blanket. Turned out that I just thought my 9 yo cousin was jacking off, while he really was trying to beat the bow circus or, while he should do his homework. I really like this one. When I was in secondary school I walked into the boys toilets where someone had just finished curling one out on the floor, with the cubicle door open. He reached into his pocket, pulled a small TMNT figure, stood it in the poo, patted it on the head and walked out. Nobody believed me until I showed them the evidence. It was very odd indeed. Ninja Turtle. I caught my 7 and 5 year old daughters once with no clothes on playing with a video camera. I asked them what was going on. They said, don't worry, papa, we're making a YouTube video. Younger brother had a chapped butthole and my mom was powdering it for him. He was not a baby. I work in a hotel, and a guest asked for a coffee maker to be brought up as we didn't have them in every room. I knocked on the door a couple of times, as we're supposed to do, and didn't hear a response so I cracked the door open a bit to see a stark naked man with one of those leather looking dog masks. I just froze for what felt like 8 minutes and closed the door. I just left the coffee maker outside the room. Writing that last part reminded me of this, so I guess my reply is a bit of a 2 for 1 special. I walked into the employee bathroom, which do lock. So if the handle turns I assume it's free and clear, once and walked in on a co-worker completely naked, sitting on the toilet with all their clothes strewn about the bathroom floor. He and I haven't made eye contact in about a month and a half. Probably one of those people who can't poop unless they are naked. A friend of mine was sitting with his toe in his mouth for at least 10 minutes. I guess he didn't hear me coming into his room. I just walked away. When I was a kid we had a family reunion in Oklahoma for a few days. One night, I got tired of laying awake in my sleeping bag and went to find my cousins. They were crowded around a dead snake, as one of the older girls was mid-dissection. There was blood everywhere, considering they had just recently killed the snake and the muscles were still twitching. She told me she had done this a million times and was practicing for when she became a vet. I just went back inside. A vet or a serial killer. We rent a room to a friend of my wife's. She poops with the light off and the door about 6 inches open. I don't use that bathroom anymore unless I know where she is in the house. She gives zero fricks and thinks it's funny. Chaotic evil. My son trying to look at his butthole with a webcam. Probably my dad blow drying his pubes in the mirror. My mom absolutely lost it cracking up and I can never get the image out of my brain no matter how hard I try. Walked in on a girl's father standing idly in front of the refrigerator in nothing but a pair of aged white briefs. I was 16 and not very socially experienced, particularly regarding dads in underwear, so I panicked and held up my hand to shield my own view and said something like, A you hurry etch and walked back into the garage. Her parents made me go home and I never went back to her house again. One night me and my roommate watched Tenacious D in the pick of Destiny and we specifically laughed at how funny the dong push-ups were. A few days later I walk into the dorm and his pants are down and he's flat on his belly with his arms reaching forward Superman style. He gets startled and nervously yells oh hey what's up and pulls up his pants. Pretty sure he was attempting dong push-ups. When I was a kid I lived with my dad in a loft as roommates to a woman with two children living with her. The garage had a leather couch. My dad and I walked into the garage one night to find the eldest boy, in his teens, fricking the cushions of the couch. I did not understand the appeal or the reason, but I remember wondering how long the image would stick with me. I have 8 siblings so I've seen far too many things I wish I'd never seen. 
the first one that comes to mind is the time I went into the kitchen and my little brother was on all fours, wearing nothing but a pink belt around his midsection and a pair of my mother's shoes, face down in the cat's food dish, eating its food. Walking in the woods when I was a kid and got to the playground where I was going to wait for a friend to play. Walked up to see a guy who was happily tied to the tire swing laughing and saying I am the prisoner to nobody specific. I have him a wide berth to see who I guess was his friend sliding down the slide head first and leaving a trail of what I guess was crap behind him. I walked to my friend's house and watched Ultraman without saying a word about what I saw. Walked into a classroom and found out that a 13 year old had my staff photo as his desktop picture. Congrats on being the favorite teacher. For various reasons. Homeless did walked outside and I hop and just took a crap on their doorstep. At a party with a bunch of friends. Door to the living room is closed. Open door. Half of my friends in attendance are engaged in a wild orgy. Close door. Host of the party walks by, looking really annoyed. I think he's going to put a halt to the proceedings, but he just opens the door and tosses a box of condoms into the room, and closes the door again. He was just annoyed he wasn't invited to his own orgy, P. My friend sucked another one of my friend's dong for a couple of freezies, not even the big ones. About a decade ago my wife and I were out for New Year's. The bar we were at was pretty lame so we made the risky decision to try somewhere else. It was risky because it was New Year's and most places were packed or required tickets. We walked down the street and found a little club we had seen before but never tried. It was a small place that held about 50 people. We walked in and like out of a movie. The music stopped dead and everyone just froze in place staring at us with their hands still up in the jazz hands position. We were pretty drunk and just stared back in disbelief. It seemed like a minute straight before my wife said I don't like this, let's go, and we left. To this day I have no idea what was happening or why the bar just went silent and froze right when we walked in. You should have asserted dominance by standing until their arms gave out. Two people having 69 in the area on the highway where you stop to take rest and refresh. I was at a weird church where my cousin was rehearsing for a play and I wanted to pee so I walked into the bathroom and this chubby, messy girl came out of the bathroom with her unzipped pants while eating a piece of chicken. I was like 10 you and she really scared me. I'm 41 years old and that would really scare me. Not really walked in on, but kind of. My wife and I found a cat on my birthday. He was junior sized, just barely older than a kitten and pretty malnourished so we took him home. He wasn't neutered which is important to note. Anyway, a week or two later I was in bed, sleeping, when I woke up to him fidgeting around on the bed. I open my eyes and he's laying directly next to my face, fully erect, licking his kitty goods. Definitely something I'd rather walk in on than wake up to. I know that's common in dogs but with cats it's a pretty jarring experience. Especially when it's less than 6 inches away. I had never seen a cat's dong and let me tell you. They are horrifying. Not something you want in your face. He's neutered now and we haven't had any further incidents btw. I have watched a chahuahua fricatella to be. I went to the wrong house party across the street from the one I was invited to. Everyone 6-7 people were super chill and included me they I had no idea I didn't belong. It was actually a lot more genuine than where I went after I figured it out. Not me, my husband, he used to work nights cleaning carpets in large office buildings. He'd go, usually with one other guy, and they'd work, each cleaning one floor separately at a time. He's usually totally alone in big empty buildings, and certainly doesn't knock on closed doors or anything. So he's working along, one office after another, opens the door to the next office and there's a woman sprawled out naked on a desk with a naked guy just giving it to her. It takes him a minute to process what's happening. She sees him and just starts screaming her head off. The guy whips around and starts yelling, but my husband's already got the door shut and is booking it down the hall as fast as he can drag his equipment. His co-worker heard the woman screaming from whatever floor he was on and comes running. Turns out they were carrying on an affair and worked late after everyone else cleared out. Best part was that my husband had to call security to go and get them and escort them off the premises because the cleaning company was supposed to ensure only their own employees were there at night. He said the, no longer naked, guy was pee, 
That's one heck of a walk of shame. Still makes me laugh when he tells it. Was at a friend's place with around 6-7 of our other friends for New Year's and had to take a crap. Walked into the bathroom to discover my one friend fingering our other friend's mom. Proceeded to call him a mother sucker for the next two months. Not me, but a story from my ex. When I was working at a grocery store, my ex worked in produce and we had a co-worker that was really nice but something just seemed off about him. Well, one night, my ex is walking back to their back room and this guy is just standing there, his back facing the wall and his pants were down around his ankles. My ex says, hey buddy, what are you doing and the guy completely freezes, then puts a watermelon down to the side. My ex notes the watermelon has a hole in it. He was fricking a watermelon. At least it's not a coconut. Not exactly walked in on, but woken up to my cousin and his gf at the time having very silent sex in the same room as me. Just rolled over to face the other side of the room and said frick it, went back to sleep. Said frick it, I mean, you could've just let them think you were asleep the whole time. My nephew completely naked on the restroom floor screaming crap while on his iPad. No, he wasn't a toddler. I walked in on my brother watching a chair fricking a microwave on TV. Turns out he was watching Scary Movie 5, which really is just as disturbing. Walked into a McDonald's bathroom while getting a coffee on my way to work last year. As I opened the door, this lady was just sitting on the toilet in the stall directly in front of the door. Taking an absolutely violent crap, while purposefully holding the stall door open, and she would not break eye contact until I left her line of sight. She finished up, washed her hands and left. I swear to god, this was not some foreigner that maybe doesn't understand basic customs or whatever. It was just some 35-50 year old white lady in Canada. Maybe it was a power move but like, if she wanted the MCD's bathroom man she can have it. This exact same situation happened to me at the World Bank in Turkmenistan. And I mean exact same thing. People are fricked in the head. A close friend of mine whacking it in my room, watching pee on my PC. I once walked into the principal of my school crapping on the toilet. He couldn't look me into my eyes after that. Roommate and his GF left a party we were all at early. I hung around about 10 or 15 minutes after they took off and then left as it was rapidly degenerating into a crap show. Open the front door, and he's bum fudging her right there in the entryway. Like, the door hit him when I opened it. Wasn't that weird I suppose, but it was awkward. I usually visit my grandfather on Sundays his wife passed away in 2014 and 2016 he was diagnosed with cancer he refused to move closer to the rest of the family so we could keep an eye on him. So once he started getting worse we had a nurse visit him 3 times a week to check on him and take care of his medical needs related to his cancer treatment. So as I was saying I usually visit him on Sundays. I went to his house as usual. It was like any other day I spoke with him about an hour before I got there. I'll remember this day for the rest of my life. I arrived walked into the living room and called for my grandpa. No answer. Check the kitchen. Not there. Check the backyard not there either. At this point I'm super worried. I go to his room. I open the door. I'm looking at my 84 year old grandpa getting ridden by the nurse. That man is my freaking hero. I miss you grandpa. 1932 to 2017. I heard that you were feeling ill. Headache. Fever. And a chill. I came to help restore your pluck. Cause I'm the nurse who likes to. A girl posing topless with a ball like the earth while being photographed in the middle of a hiking trail in an urban national park. It was unexpected and very strange to see. Whilst at uni I was a first aider for a nightclub. Igel nights were handing out plasters to girls for blisters and holding long hair back as people puked into bowls. Pretty easy. As part of each shift we'd patrol around the club to make sure no one was slumped in a corner. It's at this point a terrified looking doorman wades through the crowd to take us to the women's bathroom. But when men enter the ladies bathroom, they are supposed to announce they're going in. So I shout in chorus with the doorman male entering the bathroom and that's when we hear the weird noises from a stall. The doorman had heard a report of a potential fitter in a stall. A really dangerous situation. And to be fair it does sound like it too. So we locate the stall. The one to the side. I think it was the left is open so I take a look over the stall wall. 
two women were going hammer and tongs with each other and there, with one flailing around like a blow up inflatable advertising man you see at petrol stations, the other has her head buried in her partner's thighs, we left it to the doorman who radioed for a lot of backup. I never walked in on somebody but my friend once walked in on my doing thriller and recording it. I didn't actually notice until I replayed it back to myself and him doing the comedic awkward stare and walking away. I deleted quickly out of terror but deleting it was a huge regret of mine cause now I think it's funny when I think about it. You have been visited by the comfortable garlic bread of good back support subscribe to up dude reddit in 3 weeks or never sit comfortably again you have a lot of time for this one I understand if you're busy no rush. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.